Hello YouTube and Lego fans and for this very special video Simpsons fans Welcome to my review of the Lego The Simpsons House Set 71006 Okay so down in the description to this video you will find a link to my unboxing for this set so if you want to see more details about the box, the instruction manuals and the bags of Lego that make up this set, then please go and take a look at that video. Okay guys, first things first, what I want to do is give a 360 view of the house. And this is the complete Simpsons house, garage, car, minifigures and some of the external accessories. And we'll have a closer look at those in a minute. I'm just going to give this a spin round so you can see what the house looks like in its entirety from the external view and again some of that detailing um, also on the exterior of this house <coughs> excuse me and this really is I say this a lot but believe me guys this is an awesome set the design of this I think is absolutely fantastic um, a couple of comments from myself on this I mean although this is um, ages 12 plus I think it is um, this this really should and I think will appeal to a real broad spectrum um, I mean it's for all ages for the adults obviously it is a great um, setup display item can go great in a, a Lego city in my opinion um, for the Simpsons fans, absolutely fantastic level of detail, certainly when we have a look inside and the minifigures are great. Um, and for the younger kids, certainly the very young kids, you're going to have problems or need help to build this. But once it's built, the playability on this is fantastic. So keep tuned into this video um, and we'll have a look at it in a little bit more detail. Okay, so first up we will take a look at the car. Um, I'm going to be fairly quick with a lot of this review because this is going to be a long video again because of that detail. So I'll give you a quick spin of that. You can see the sticker on the front, the license plate. Great pink colour. Obviously, these doors on the car do open on both sides. Again, on the rear. Back round to that side, we have. The boot or trunk does open. Um, I've put in the back of here one of the other accessories that come with this, which is this piece here, which I believe is a piece of radioactive material, obviously from Homer's workplace. Um, so I've just put that in the trunk boot of that car. Okay, we take a look inside there. Focus, there we go. You can see just down in here on the dash there is a um, sticker um, that represents a it's like a radio a radio player. There you go, better look at that and little gear stick and obviously the seating area you can fit two minifigures in here. Okay guys, so that is pretty much it for our Lego Simpsons car. Okay, next up, I've just taken you off the tripod to show you some of these external accessories and you have a quick look at the minifigures as well. Obviously, there's Flanders there. Um, he is obviously working on this barbecue, um, cooking some sausages there by the looks of it. And we have these sun loungers. And by each one, there is a um, little glass there, a cocktail glass with some fruit in the top of it. Okay, going back to the rear, we have Bart on his skateboard um, and again on his skate ramp. You can see there, Al Barto, that's a sticker. Um, there, over to uh, Lisa. And there we have good old Homer. You can see there some of his detail. He's got his little briefcase there, obviously off to work. Over there, we have Marge who's out doing some gardening so we have that wheelbarrow and some plants in some pots there there's also a little spade 
um, in that wheelbarrow there um, as well. Um, over to this side we have this mailbox. You can see that printed uh, mail piece um, upon the top there. Okay, and then yeah, over there we have Maggie with her dummy in her mouth. We'll have a quick closer look at those. Um, but we'll take a look at the minifigures now, I think. Okay, guys, like I said, close look at these minifigures now. So there we have Ned Flanders. You see that face detailing. Hail to the chef. Over across to Raj. And that iconic hair. We have this apron piece on down on her legs. Cross over to Lisa. Again, we can really see the shape and the detailing on these new moulds. Okay, then over on to Maggie. Again, that shape. And this, interestingly, is all one piece, uh, the torso bit here. Look at that. Um, over to good old Bart. Let's get that zoom back in. So there's Bart. And finally over to Homer. There we go. So let's have a quick look at the rear. Okay, there's the rear of Homer. On top, you've got printing on the top of the head as well there. Obviously the uh, comb over. And there's the rear of Bart. Maggie. Again, you can see that torso all in one piece. Lisa. Marge. And then finally on to Ned Flanders. So that's our minifigures. Okay then, so we're going to take a closer look at the actual Simpsons um, house um, itself now. Okay, so just a shot across the bottom, you start to see inside some of these windows. See there's the front door, again through into that bay window there, um, and then the um, garage. So first thing obviously the garage door does open, okay, get some light in there, um, hopefully you can see, yeah they're all the tools stacked up over on that side. We will take the roof off in a minute so you can have a look. But I just want to show you what this actually looks like with the roof on. Okay guys, so this is a this is a modular design build, so these do detach. So you'll see at the moment we've got the garage attached to the side and this just simply does pull away. So let's get that off. There we go. You can see it's held together here with these pins and there's the doorway to get into the house. There. Okay, so now there we have our garage. Just give that a spin round. So again you can see the door there and obviously the holes in the bricks there for obviously those um, Technic pins to join to the house. Okay, so the roof just simply lifts off on all of these structures. You see there the design. Just quickly show you that. There we go, that's pretty much the same on every single one. Held on by these pieces, it is quite a clever design because they do are held on um, very well. Okay, let's put those to the one side. Okay, now let's take a look inside. Okay, first of all, we'll see the shot through the door there through the doorway and let's go up over inside um, and again great detailing and features in here obviously we have a bench there with a toolbox and um, there's a broom there up against the wall and then obviously there there's a lot of um, tools and lubricants and oils etc so this rack here has got some tools um, on there screwdriver oil can but then this down here is full Full of loose toys, uh, tools. Sorry, um, down there. Get more light in there actually. 
um, yeah, full of tools. I'm not going to get them all out, but it's kind of your normal tool accessory um, that you get in many of the sets. Um, and you can see there, I'll take that round. There's the garage door. You'll see that mechanism there to close it up. And you'll see we have windows at either end of this structure. Um, two. So there we go. So that is the garage. Okay guys, so um, again, look at our main house and again, um, or rather not again, but one of the great features, probably the main feature of this particular set and this house is exactly what I'm going to show you now. So um, you can see if I take you around this side actually, up the chimney breast there, um, you can probably make out there are some hinge um, pieces in there. And they're obviously there for a purpose, so this does just simply open up. We just get out of there. Okay, some accessories there. You can see now this starting to open. There we go. Let's just zoom that out a little bit more now. Okay, guys. There we go, now we can see the Simpsons house in its glory on the interior of the house. Okay then, so let's take a closer look at some of this detailing on the interior. Let's take you along. Like so. down the bottom there we get our first glimpse of that iconic sofa there in the rear and the TV <clears throat> okay so the next thing that we can do on this which I will do because it will help with um, some lighting is as per the garage let me just spin this round actually take that hinge piece round there these roof pieces yeah quick look at the aerial there Again, these just simply lift off, like so, um, and the same over on this side, we've got a small roof piece here, and then the bigger section here, so that's going to allow us to get a bit more light into the building now. Okay guys, we're going to start on the ground level, so this is um, going to be the um, rear side of the uh, main lounge area. So what we have in here is this piano and stall. Now everything you can see in these rooms, or pretty much everything, um, does come out. Um, they do have, or are rather, you can see there, some plates with the stud bits on them to hold pieces in place. So first up here we have this piano. Cool looking. It does go in there and it will attach to those there and um, then this is just a little um, freestanding stall piece over to the rear section of the kitchen stroke dining room and again you can see in there there's a table and two chairs a couple of mugs on it and again this all does come out chairs as well come out as you can see there and um, we have some kitchen cabinets um, some accessories again another mug some pans um, up the top there you can make out there are some cabinets up there um, and there are bits in there you can see there they've got the clear um, doors to them and these do open <laughs> okay so for the purposes of timeliness I'm not going to get all these pieces out but it does come with a number of accessories for the kitchen actually and in these drawers and again I apologize for this camera shake open this up and hopefully you can see in there there are knives and forks in there and again they're all loose so my little boy Ethan actually helped make some of this so he put the accessories away didn't you Ethan? yes um, he put those in there and he did a lot of the sorting for me as well actually um, so it was obviously quite a lengthy build probably took me in the region of ooh, seven hours I think six seven hours something like that Anyway, so now we're over to the, so this is obviously now the front section of the kitchen. Um, 
which we're now looking at. Oh, actually, I've got that totally wrong, I think. Where have I? Yeah, sorry, guys. So these are the front, because that's the front of the house, those two bits. This is the rear section here. But it's the rear section of the kitchen diner. See, we've got another couple of chairs there, and again, they're loose. Um, again, stove there, obviously a pan on top of it, and again, some more drawers, um, etc. in there. Okay, then over to what is going to actually be the rear of the dining room, uh, sorry, lounge, lounge area. Um, so we can see in there um, at the rear is, like I said before, the iconic um, sofa. There is a vacuum cleaner there, that's a loose vacuum cleaner. Um, towards the rear there, hopefully you can see there is a little cabinet with a telephone on top of it. Um, here is the TV, so we'll just take that off. You can see there how that is held in, one of those little modified plates. I'll just turn the TV around, you can see what's playing on it. Good old uh, uh, itchy and scratchy. You can see that there, yeah, zooming in. Again, another cool little build. Some really great detail, like I said, everything comes out, so the sofa comes out. And picture at the back there is a sticker. So most what you see in this, that's a sticker on the TV. Most of the things you see will be stickers. There are a few printed pieces and some real cool printed pieces actually, which I will try to remember as I get round and show you those. Um, and obviously there are the stairs um, going up to the first floor. Okay, so now up to the first floor, so we're now looking in Lisa's um, bedroom. Again, let's get some light in there. Obviously, a bit of a book stand up on there is a magnifying glass, and it does actually work. There is a magnifying lens in there, um, and there are sort of pots and pieces in there. Lamp on the table, mug there on that side. Um, and there's obviously the bed. Can you move that for me, Ethan, please? Take it out of the way, totally. Thank you. Okay, so here's the first of our printed pieces. This is actually a printed piece. You can see there, A plus Lisa. Okay, a little cool piece. Um, up on there, that's a sticker. Obviously, picture on her wall. Okay, and if we want, we can put obviously Lisa in her bedroom. Ethan, do you want to put her on a bed? We can see what that looks like. So there we go. Lisa fits nicely on her bed there. So moving on, um, we then have this bathroom here, um, which we can see in there through the door. So it's kind of a hidden, well, not a hidden door. Um, so I'm going to give you a closer look at that in a minute so we get a better look from the top into that one. Um, next up is obviously the main bedroom. So this is going to be Homer and Marge's bedroom. So we can see there the double bed, um, there's a laundry basket there on the side there um, apart from that not a great deal more in there um, but like I said all these do come out, everything comes out that you see um, in here so you can take the beds out totally like so and then you're just left with a blank room um, and obviously there we can see that bed so really great like I said the playability functions on this set is fantastic that you can take everything out and move it all around um, next up is uh, Maggie's room, um, obviously the cot, so again, nothing else in here apart from that cot, but like with everything else, that can come out. Okay, it's just held on that piece, um, and obviously there we can see uh, that cot. Let's just put that back in there like that for now. Um, here's our landing area. Okay, let's get this light. So obviously you can see the stairs coming up there. The thing I'm going to try and point out is there are a couple of pictures on the wall there. And you can obviously make out for yourselves who that is. And then obviously down there we have Maggie. Okay. Okay, and finally what we've got here is the other end of Lisa's room. Um, so obviously when the building spin round spins round that will obviously match up with Lisa's room over there so she has um, this dressing area um, obviously that's a mirror um, dressing table there drawers uh, hairbrush little stool there she has this camera 
um, and this piece here, lying here, is actually backpack. Obviously, a backpack for school. Um, that's just lying in there, um, loose at the moment. Okay, so I've just come round and above for that shot of that bathroom. I'm coming right up from the top now, so you can see it. Um, obviously, there's the toilet. Um, there's a sink over in the corner. Um, shower. Again, great design and great use of these bricks. It really, really is. Um, and even there, and I do apologise for this because I'm being quite cack handed about this, but that's actually a toilet roll as well on the wall there, which hopefully you can pick up. Okay, so that is that bathroom. Okay, another thing I wanted to point out we've got our AC unit on here, but on a number of these pieces, and this is again. The good old Simpsons humour. So bear in mind this is the Simpsons house. If I pan around there, what does it say on the AC unit? Well, you can see for yourself, property of Ned Flanders. Um, and there's a number of things in here that have that um, on them. Okay, so the final room that we need to look at is uh, Bart's. So, Bart's room is, as you would imagine, through that door there keep out. So I'm just going to spin the set back around so that we can get a look finally into Bart's room. And there we go, there's our first look into Bart's room. So again he has this sort of bookcase area here. Um, down the bottom there is a little printed piece. Um, like a little radio or something. Um, his cap there, some boxes on the top, that there is a sticker. Okay, moving round here, we again he has this little desk area. That's a sticker, the one that's on the wall, but that there, Radioactive Man, is a printed tile. So that is awesome, really cool printed tile that is. And round, moving to this way, we can see there his bed. Uh, bedside cabinet um, and he has that uh, lamp um, over there Then obviously there's the other side of the door and that there is obviously looking through Bart's window okay so another part of this modular building so I'm just going to scan along so you can get your orientation with regards to where we are so this section here which is where obviously Bart's bedroom is this all lifts off itself as well so we just take that up like that and that can come down so we can again move that around you can obviously play with Bart's bedroom better look in there I mean we could put his skateboard in there for example couldn't we either yeah yeah just uh, his skateboard fits in there quite nicely over in that corner cool um, but what this does allow us to do is get a far better look at the, again that iconic um, lounge area and sofa. So much better look now in there. Some of the bits I pointed out earlier. Um, the rug. Um, and then obviously, like I said, that iconic sofa. Okay, and there we go. Obviously the sofa. The sofa scene. There we see obviously home of Lisa and Bart on the sofa. Maggie in the corner. And what's Marge doing? Of course, she's cleaning. She's hoovering the lounge. Okay, there we go. That's my review complete of The Simpsons House at 71006. Um, hopefully I managed to cover... Um, most of the detail um, within the modulars um, yeah like I said there's a lot to cover on this set and I was just conscious of the length of the video and I'm sure this is going to end up being a long video when I've edited it um, but anyway guys hopefully you appreciated that review if you did so please go ahead give it a thumbs up let me know what you think about this set down in the comments like I've given you shared with you all um, my opinions on this set but yeah guys um, if you haven't done so already the final thing um, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel um, and keep an eye out for more um, reviews, unboxings and builds and hopefully in the future mocks. 
and we will see you all in the next video. Say bye, Ethan. Bye. Goodbye. Cheers. <laughs>